A big hello from me, everyone. I'm Mayor Patrick Hall. I'm here with all the highlights from the City of Canning's May Council meeting. The order of business commenced on the night with a motion relating to the proposed construction of the Jandicott Eastern Link Road, which would provide a transport link connecting the Canning Vale industrial area to the Jandicott Industrial Precinct. The road would also provide a direct connection to the Jandicott Airport and the long-planned Canning Vale Regional Sports Complex, uh, also in Canning Vale, of course. Council resolved not to proceed with the construction of the Janicott Eastern Link Road and instead voted in favour of returning $5.33 million in funding for the project to Main Roads WA. Council also resolved to write to the WA Planning Commission seeking an amendment to the Metropolitan Region Scheme to remove the Jandicott Eastern Link Road alignment and to proceed with the proposed Environmental Revegetation Rehabilitation Fund project at lots 166 and 167 Clifton Road in Canning Vale. Later in the meeting, Council supported the advertising of the differential rates for the 2023-24 financial year. The commencement of the consultation period will kick off later this month and the community will have 21 days to provide submissions. Get involved. In line with the City's integrated transport strategy and after extensive public consultation, Council has endorsed an item to address safety concerns at the intersection of Augusta Street and High Roads in Williton. Funded wholly by the Federal Government's Black Spot Program, the project will remove the ability to turn right from Augusta Street into High Road and Council believes this will alleviate the issues that currently exist. Now also in Williton, Council endorsed a scheme amendment which will result in a number of additional land uses in the Williton industrial area, including allowing such uses as restaurants, medical centres and motor vehicle boat and caravan sales. Council believe that the proposed amendment will bring greater economic diversity in the precinct and allow landowners greater flexibility in the use of their own properties. It was passed unanimously. In East Cannington, Council endorsed a proposal to upcode a section of the suburb from its current R20 residential R code to R30. The proposal would allow for increased density. The scheme amendment will be referred to the Environmental Protection Authority for assessment prior to advertising the scheme amendment for public consultation. Now finally, Council has endorsed a tender to appoint two separate contractors for the purpose of mowing the city's verges. Now this will allow for a more effective delivery of verge mowing from the city and ensure that the high quality of streetscapes that the community expects will be maintained. Well that's all from me today everyone. If you'd like any more information about any of these key decisions and outcomes from this month's council meeting, then please visit the City of Canning's Agendas and Minutes section on our website. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your week.